But yeah, man, she looking good under there, dog. YouTube, what's goody? It's your boy Southside Nate, back with another episode of the Box Chevy Build. And on this episode, man, we waiting on parts. But while we waiting on parts, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up a few things, get a couple things wrapped up out of the way. I got me a little coolant reservoir. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna put that on. I got all of these wires in here going everywhere, man. So now I'm about to go ahead and get all this cleaned up. Go ahead and see about getting my computer heat. I think I'm gonna put it up there. Get all that put up. And where I can put my center console back up. Just had that done and out the way. And on the last video, I asked y'all for some feedback. And boy, did y'all deliver. Man, that video got over 150 comments. A whole bunch of good information, a whole bunch of good stuff. A lot of the stuff that was recommended, I had already done, had already touched bases on, like all my grounding points. Every spot that is grounded on the frame and the engine, anywhere I got a ground, I made sure that I cleaned the paint off. It's bare metal. So I did do that before I even started the last video. I be moving so fast trying to troubleshoot this stuff, man, and I don't get to document everything, but that's done one thing for sure that starter is cooked so man I, and i did get a fuel pressure sensor so i can get fuel pressure reading on the holly handheld and we, we i ain't tried to start it but when you just turn the key on it's connected to the handheld and it's reading like 34 psi so yeah, right now I'm just cleaning up, man, trying to tidy some things up. I got my um my fender wells out here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these on just so I know what kind of room I have up under here and all that good stuff. Get my wires cleaned up, man, while I'm waiting on these parts. But yeah, man, that's where I'm at, man. I just wanna cut y'all on. Let y'all know what we got going. I already you know, took my little dad's cover off. She back there. Got my dad's cover off. Oh yeah, I had figured out why my lights were staying on. They were staying on because of the twilight thing. And that's this sensor right here. It usually stick up out the on top of the dash. Now when I redid the dash, I did not leave a hole in it for that sensor. So I'm gonna try to relocate it. See if I can relocate it somehow. My extending wires, try to relocate it to a different spot. Put it up by the mirror or something. You know, I'm trying to get, get slick with it. Get slick with it. But yeah, man, that's where I'm at, man. I'm about to clean up my mess, get all my stuff tidied up. I might even rinse this car off because the baby is dirty. He's sitting out here getting dirty. Look at that trunk. Man. Pollen everywhere. Pollen season about, she about over. I say we're about 90% there. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna do too much more talking. I'm gonna, uh, I got the battery on hook now because I'm about to be messing with the wires. I don't want nothing to get short out or damage anything. I'm gonna go ahead and snatch, snatch that old starter off. Yeah, she old now. Brand new, but I don't cook the to the point that she done, so she old. We get that old start off, and we gonna go from there, man. Get these wires cleaned up. Try to get these fender wells put on. Let's get it. Perfect.
Yeah, that's how my baby supposed to look, now. She had pollen covering that. Yes, sir. Perfect. 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 Alright. I got no fender wheels up there. Now I get a a better look, an idea of what kind of clearance I'm gonna have up under here. But yeah, I got them babies in there. Boy they bring it out too, boy. Yeah, I'm glad I did those silver. Scratched up my frame a little bit. Now I still gotta paint the inside part of it. I just wanna get a put it in, get an idea of how I'm gonna be able to route my wires, my hoses and stuff. I think I'm gonna mount my catch can right there. There's already some holes over there in that area too. I think I'm gonna mount my catch can right there. Damn, I got my cooler reservoir in here. Got that right there. I want to keep that over there as clear as possible. Still got a little wire situation going on up there. I think most of that up there I don't need, but these right here I'm going to shorten for power. One of them got a fusible link. I think I'm going to redo it. I got some extra fusible link wires just so I can run them right here clean. And I got some wire looms. So these are the um just the starter wires and the battery wires that come from that bulkhead over there. I went on ahead and threw some loom on them yesterday. And once I get all these figured out, I got some extra loom. I loom them up so it'll be clean over there. Well yeah, well that thing look good under there. It was messing me up, dog, because with all that space that was left under there, I'm like, damn. 
it just looked too spacious. And I know when I put these in, it was gonna take up some space. So I wanna go ahead and install them junks, see what they look like in there. And plus they've been sitting around getting scratched up and damaged and everything. So scratch my frame up a little bit over here trying to get this one in. But they in there for the most part, dog. Just wanna go ahead and get that out of the way. I think I'm gonna put some loom on these wires too. That's going to the battery. But I think I'm gonna try to run them right, right up here nice and pretty like. Have them ran right beside each other real pretty like. Nice and neat. But yeah, man. Making progress, baby, making progress. Just getting little things checked off the list. Yes, sir. Boy, that look good under the And it's go time, YouTube. Look at these calipers. Boy. Brand new. Brand new. Man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about no fender wells, man. Look good. They cleaner than this, cause it was inside. But once I get everything wrapped up, everything buttoned up, y'all know I'm gonna shine it up up under here. Make sure everything looks nice and presentable. But um, I guess I'm gonna throw these tires back on, probably put it back on them car stands. And we'll go from there, see if I can knock something else off the list. Let's get it. Alright, YouTube. I went on here and mounted it catch can. I just got it mounted right here for right now. Kind of close to the alternator. Once I figure out how I gotta wrap my hoses. But I think I got it the right way. So what I'm gonna do. I'll probably cut this hose and have it go straight over or go under the alternator. I don't know yet. I gotta figure that out. But either way, it's gonna be mounted in this area. You know, I gotta have clearance for my... Um... Damn. It's the brake booster. What the hell is the thing that go up here? Y'all know what I mean. Yeah, I gotta have clearance for my brake master cylinder, which I don't think it come out about, about right there. I don't know. Well, I just had a major brain fart. But yeah, man, she looking good under there, dog. Well, that's looking good under there. That's how I'm gonna have my wires route, route it. I'm coming across there pretty neat. That'll be the only thing right there. And it'll be another loom coming right across here, kind of like over there, with the power wires and the ground wires. Boom. I think it's gonna be a clean setup when I'm done. I think it's gonna be a very clean setup. And I'm gonna put wire loom over all this stuff, just so it'll all be uniform. Probably leave that exposed though, so you'll know where, you'll see. It'll be seen anyway, but yeah. Oh, we're making some progress. Looking good up on the chair. Looking real good on the hill. About to go ahead and slap them tires. Put them wheels back on. Put it back on them stands. Yeah. Damn, they look good. I know a lot of people be asking me, is it gonna be ready for raw show? And I'm gonna be honest, if this baby running, if she ready by the first of June, I'm gonna be at 78 Chevy Boy show. I'm gonna be at that goddamn CNC. We'll catch Ross another time, probably hopefully next year. By then I should have a bubble right too, and Ruby. I'm gonna go ahead and paint, paint the bubble. 
Probably won't do no engine upgrades and nothing like that to the bubble for a while. Might do suspension upgrades, but we are gonna ride that stock engine for a while. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint her. Ruby gonna be freshening up. So yeah, next year, Ruby getting the business. But next year, we'll probably hit Raw Show. That way I have more than one vehicle. But if this baby ready by June 1st, I will be at the CNC. The third annual CNC, Connected Never Competing, baby. That's the show I'm looking forward to hit. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna do too much more talking. Let me uh, see what else I can get done. Oh yeah, matter of fact. So, this right here. All right, so I got one of them little, you know, little cheap Kodak intakes off Amazon. And this right here is the little box thing for it. I'm not gonna use this under the hood. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this to make me a bracket for my computer. That way I can mount it up under the arm, up under the dash. I was gonna put it in the top part of the dash, but the way I got my drive-by wire throttle cable ran, it ain't gonna reach. It'll be pulling tight. So I'm just gonna mount it up under that dash. And I'm gonna use this right here. We'll put it on there, trace it out. I think this one will probably work better. It might fit in that one too. We'll put it on there, trace it out. See what I can make out of them. So yeah, I'll stay tuned for that. That's probably what I get on next after I put these tires on. Go ahead and see what I can do with that. Cut y'all back on in a second. Let's get it. So look at the man that thing fit right inside of this one i mean perfect probably get three of the mountain points and then look you got the little jump man this gonna work out perfect and i'll be able to hang it up in this back there somewhere we do some more measurements but i just had to show y'all that right quick man that thing fit in there perfect that's wicked Yeah, cause I go ahead and get this mounted and I can clean all my wires up in here. I do want to be able to see the little jumps down there. So I might cut a hole out the bottom of this. Yeah, I'll probably cut a hole out the bottom of it just so my um, lights will be exposed. But that's sweet. It's like it's going to work perfect. I just gotta find a way to mount it up in there. Damn. See where you get your money's worth out this stuff. God definitely won't gonna use these pieces for the on um, cold air intake. But they about to get used for this. That's crazy. Even if I put it up like that, so I might do it like that. That way I get all four mountain points and I still be able to see, see the um the lights on it. Okay. Okay, I think that's how I'm gonna do that. And I got that right there, I can use the mount. And that part back there, I can use the mount. It can be bent anywhere I need it or whatever. Man, it's go time. Let's get it. 